All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is John Ione for the Bobcat Sports Network, live on YouTube. As we're ready to resume play here, fresh 40 on the clock, 35 degrees, here at Frank Zink Stadium at 750 on Halloween night as the Bobcats look to put it back into play. And putting it back into play for the Bobcats, it's Lily Fisher. Grandview sends it. And again, these. The Nighthawks come out just as aggressive as they did in the first half, quickly moving to the Grandview third of the field. They're just outside the box. Zimmerman taps it in. And that one's going to go out the back goal line off of the. Off of the Nighthawks, so Lucy James will put it back into play for the Bobcats. Lucy looks for a spot, sends it long. Lily Fisher in a foot race, doesn't get there in time, but that one's going to go out off of the Nighthawks. And... Looks like Tatum Lusher is going to come up and put it back into play for the Bobcats. So everyone getting set up. Lusher gets it in. Bobcats get ahead on it. Or I'm sorry. Nighthawks get ahead on it. And they send it back down the field. And this one starts just as the last one ended. The Nighthawks doing a really good job keeping us on our defensive side. As again, they turn the field. Lusher, that's we're going to have to send it out of bounds. So the Nighthawks will have it from mid center line and throw it in. Lusher comes up to challenge. Nighthawks send it down the field and. Nighthawks outside the wing. Take a shot on goal. Send it in the middle. Bobcats able to get it. Up to Nat Smith. Nat Smith. Nat Smith goes down. And she is not getting up. And the ref is going to stop play there. She gets back up. Grandview throw in. Lusher throws it in. Gets it in the mid-center field. Lily Fisher fighting for control. And that one's going to go out off of the Nighthawks. So uh, Lusher up to throw it in here from the mid-third of the field. Bobcats get set. Lusher gets it in. Finds Nat Smith. Nat Smith misses that one. And the Nighthawks send that out. So Bobcats again with a chance to throw in here from the top of the field, third of the field of the Nighthawks. Lusher sends it long. And that one is going out. And they kick it out the, the near side uh, touch line. Swisher throws it in. F finds... Lexi Smith, Lexi Smith back to Lusher. Lusher attempts to pass it up to Fisher, and that one rolls out off of the Bobcats. So the refs back them up a little bit. Deep in their own territory, they th throw it in. Grandview keeps it in. Nope, they don't. Ref sees that one. That's going to be a throw in again for, um... oh, no, it's throw in for us. And now it's throw in for the Nighthawks. All right, 35-45 counting down. Bobcats down one to nothing over the Nighthawks from Cincinnati Country Day. Country Day's trying to advance it upfield. They kick it out. Throw in for the Bobcats. Yeah. 
Lusher gets it back into play. Again, we're, if, you know, keep in mind here, these girls are playing tough. Uh, our girls are from Grandview against the number one team in Division Three. Five of them have D1 offers. As we see, Lexi Smith picks it up in the middle field. Send it over into two. Two is challenged by three, four defenders. Nighthawks able to strip it away. Zimmerman now moving it up the field, gets it to the far side. Nighthawks keep moving. Long break in there, pressuring. Granger comes over. Lucy James gets in front of that one. And the night and the Nighthawks send it long. Oh, Granger in a battle. Nighthawks get a foot on it. Swisher gets it, sends it up to the middle of the field, but the Nighthawks are there. Lily Fisher chasing the ball down, applying some pressure. Nighthawks again send it up just above the arc. They're looking to attack, trying to get around our defenders. They take a shot, and there's Lexi Smith to stop, deflect it, send it up again. Nighthawks in full control at this point, Grant, keeping Grandview on defense. If Califf gets a foot on it, Califf again now gets it up to Swisher. Swisher looking to set up an attack, moving quickly up the near sideline. Sends it long, trying to get it to Lily Fisher. Nighthawks are there. They kick it out in the bounce, but it will be a Bobcat throw in. Lusher from midfield gets it in, trying to find Fisher. Deflected by the Nighthawks. Lusher again with the throw in. Sends it in, looking for Nat Smith. That one goes over Natalie Smith's head, picked up by the Nighthawks. Nighthawks trying to move it up the field. They clear over our line. Reset. Move to the far side. And Macy, too, comes up to challenge. Nighthawks moving it up the far side, pass it into the middle. They've got the numbers now. Pass off over to the near side to Zimmerman. Zimmerman gets into the box. Lusher pressuring. No, no whistle on that one. As Zimmerman goes down. Lusher getting physical. That one goes out off the Nighthawks. So one thing, to know, one observation here tonight is you know, again, this team, we're playing the number one team in Division Three. They are a strong, strong team. Very proud of our girls. They're keeping up with them, but we're just not able to keep it down on, our, on their side of the field, and we're not getting too many shots on goal. There, that whistle goes against the Nighthawks. So Macy, too, will put it back into play with a free kick, it looks like. Nope, Lucy James coming up to do that now. So at 32.02, it's one nothing. Bobcats down. This game far from over and still very one one good kick away from Bobcats putting a score on the board. Got to keep it down on the Nighthawks that are the field. Grandview in the box now. Nat Smith takes a shot on goal. Live ball picked up by Fisher. And that one's going to go out off of Nat Smith. Great. Look. Just as I had said it a minute ago, that's all we need. A couple more plays like that, some good setups as number 11, Grace Bushimi, and number 12, Lori Beth Boy come in, relieving Lexi Smith and Lily Fisher. So Grandview keeping some fresh legs in as we see Chloe Garris and Kira, Kira Hill getting ready to come back into the game. Easter, the keeper, going to, with the goal kick, puts it into play. Nat Smith is there to pick it up. Both teams battling for possession. Nat Smith gets it again. Takes a long, long shot. Easter easily, easily can pick that one up. All right. Easter's going to put it back into play. Grandview now putting some, getting a little more aggressive. They send it long. Lusher gets ahead on it. 
Both teams battling at midfield. Lucy Jane, or no, Califf comes up, puts some pressure on. Lusher fighting away, fighting Zimmerman. Zimmerman takes a shot, whiffs, gives Lusher a chance to pick it up, sends it up to Claire or to uh, Swisher. Swisher moves. Moves it up to Natalie. Natalie sends it long. Grace Bushimi in a foot race. Grandview sends it back down. No one there. Grace Bushimi, the only one. We don't have numbers. And Grandview now swarming. Nat Smith gets control. Takes a shot on goal. And that one's going to go wide left. So that will result in a goal kick for Easter. Actually coming out to do it will be number 28, Melissa Teak. Oh, no, that's going to be a corner kick. They call that off of, now they've called it off of, off of the Nighthawks. Grace Bushimi taking the shot. The corner kick for the Bobcats. Out comes Swisher and long break. Bushimi puts a foot on it. And Grandview can't make the connection. So that one goes out. It's now going to be a throw in for the Nighthawks from deep in their own territory. They get it up on the sideline. Garris putting a lot of pressure on. That one goes out off of the Bobcats. Lusher comes up. Gets a foot on it. Grace Bushimi battling for possession. That goes out off of the Nighthawk, off of the Bobcats. Nighthawks quickly throw it in. Lusher fighting for possession. Sends it over to. And there's a penalty. That one's going against the Nighthawks as Lusher got shoved down. So Lucy James bringing it over to the near side. Looking for a spot. Grandview's getting set up. Getting in position. Lucy takes a shot. Gets it in just above the arc. Bat, both teams battling. Takes a, unfortunately, a Nighthawk bounce. Though Bushimi comes in. Lusher comes into pressure. Bobcats swarming the ball. Zimmerman now moving up. Sends it over into the middle. Elise Granger applying pressure. Nighthawks trying to work her way around. They get it, send it over to the near side. No one home. And that one's going to go out and it will be a Grandview throw in deep from our territory. So throwing in for the Bobcats will be Tatum Lusher. Lusher finds a spot trying to get to Nat Smith. Picked up though by the Nighthawks, though Bashimi steals it away. Nat Smith now moving up the near sideline. Tries to get her way around one defender. That one's going to go out off of a Nighthawk. Garris quickly comes up, quickly throws in to Nat Smith. Nat Smith is shoved down. No whistle. And that one's going to go out. And they're calling no, no foul there. And that will be a goal kick for Easter or for, for the Nighthawks. As we're at the 26-30 mark here left in the second half, Bobcats down one nothing to the Nighthawks from Country Day. Country Day looking to move it up the near sideline. Elizabeth Zimmer battling Lusher. And that one goes out off of, ah, they're calling that one off of the Bobcats. So, oh, they reversed the call. I think. No, I don't think they're reversing the call. They just let someone come in. And, yes, they're keeping it with the Nighthawks. Nighthawks get it in. Grandview comes up aggressively and attacks. Nat Smith has it. Nat Smith sends it over to the middle. Can't find two. Two's fighting for possession. And the Nighthawks will send it long. And that one looks like it's going to roll out. And it'll be a Grandview throw in from the far side down in our own territory. Nat Smith all by herself over here. I don't think anybody realizes it. 
And that one goes out, goes out off the Bobcats on the far side on our own third of the field. Nighthawks throw it in on the far side. Kick into the box. Lucy James there to get it. She sends it out. Nighthawks again regain control. Bobcats now with it. Nat Smith tries to send it up to Bushimi. Nighthawks again doing a great job of getting into those passing lanes. Hearing some first uh, on Nighthawks just outside the top of the box, looking for position out in the wing. Send it into the middle. Looking for their shot, take the shot, and it goes in. So at the 24-34 mark, 24-23 mark, Zimmerman puts it in, and the Nighthawks go up 2-0 over the Bobcats here in the semi-regional Division Three playoffs from Beaver Creek, Frank Zick, Zink Field. Say hello to a few more folks over there in Grandview. The Yunkins and the Hunts handing out candy and listening to the telecast. Want to say hello to them and everyone else listening from Grandview. Girls now down 2 nothing with 24-22 left. Balls put back into play. Kara Hill on the far side tries to move it up. Nighthawks there to steal it away. Nighthawks moving it up the middle of the field. Lori Beth Boy helps, gets a foot on it, as does Lucy James. That one heads out of bounds, and the Nighthawks will kick it out. And that one. Looked like it may have gone out of the Nighthawks, but they get the throw in. Whistle, that's going against the Nighthawks. Lucy James shoved down, so she's going to get a free kick. Matt Mowry, watching it at home back in Grandview. Lucy James looking for her spot on the field, gets it off, gets it downfield. Again, the Nighthawks there to pick it up. On the far side, Nighthawks racing up, foot race. They get into the middle just above the arc, take the shot. Shoot, though, able to catch that one. Shoot. 22-43, 2 nothing. We're in the second half, 8.09 here, the time, and a balmy 35 degrees in Beaver Creek, Ohio tonight. Nighthawks move into the middle of the box. They've got some numbers. Oh, Lori Beth Boy comes out, gets a foot on it, gets aggressive, turns the field. Macy, too, now battling, but the Nighthawks are able to regain control. Nighthawks now just on outside the on, in the wing, outside the box on the far side, looking for position. Get it up to the corner, take a shot, and shoot is able to catch that one and stop that goal. 21-57, counting down. Bobcats down 2 nothing. They send it up to Grace Bushimi here on the near side. Bushimi working her way, trying to work her way through two defenders. Shove down, no whistle. Zimmerman working her way towards the arc, towards the middle of the field, works past two of our defenders, takes a shot from the arc, and that one goes high over the crossbar. 21-34 and counting down. Coming into the game is Swisher, long break, and Ellie Smith giving Bushimi, Garris, and Kara Hill a breather as Lucy James is getting ready to take the shot, the goal kick from the from the uh, – Box on the far side, the goal box on the far side. Lucy gets a foot on it, sends it up. And both teams battling for possession just above the arc. 
Nighthawks get it, take a shot. Macy two deflects it. Nighthawks quickly come up to regain control, moving to the middle of the field. Long break pressuring. Lori Beth Boy pressuring. Now Lusher pressuring Zimmerman. Zimmerman now has two on her. On her. She can't get around. Tries to work around Lusher. Lusher's able to, to push it away. Zimmerman, though, gets a foot on it. And Zimmerman takes a shot, and that one goes in. 2025. And that was number number five, Megan Zimmerman. So both Zimmerman sisters responsible for all three goals as we're at the 25, 2025 mark in Grandview now down three nothing to the Nighthawks of Country Day. Ellie Ellie Smith puts it back into play. Nat sends it long. Overshoots our front line. Long break comes up to pressure. Country Day sends it up the near side. Swarmed upon by Grandview. And that'll be a throw in for Country Day. Country Day gets it in. Zimmerman, Elizabeth, sends it over to the middle to her sister, Megan. Megan now above the arc. Gets around two. Two comes back, applies more pressure. Zimmerman sends it into the corner. Shot on goal in front. That one rolls through the box and is going to go out and will be a grand view throw in deep in our own territory. Lusher with the throw in. Coming in now is number 21, Zoe Nelson, and number 13, Madeline Pomachano. Or Abby Pomachano, sorry. Coming out is Granger and Nat Smith. Whistle on that one. And that'll be a free kick for the Nighthawks. So 18.52 and counting down. Bobcats down here in the second half, 3-0 in this Division Three semi-regional final. As number eight, Kai Camp. Kai Camp looks to take the shot, gets a foot on it, sends it into the middle of the box. They get a header on it, and Shoot is able to stop that one. So Shoot pulls it out. Puts a foot on it, sends it up, finds long break on the near sideline. Long break moves it to the middle of the field. Passes up to two, rolls past two, e picked up by the Nighthawks. Nighthawks again, challenging, looking to attack down the far sideline, speeding up. Only one person away, and Lucy James able to stop that one. So that's going to go out the back goal line off of the Bobcats off of a gallant save by Lucy James. So it'll be a corner kick from the far side for the Nighthawks. Both teams getting set. Nighthawks put it into play. It's in the middle of the box. Both teams fighting. Lusher gets a foot on it. Saves it from going out the back goal line, but we'll send it up. And will be a throw in for the Nighthawks from about the mid portion of the Grandview third of the field. They get it into the box. Zimmerman has it. Zimmerman moves, shoots it into the middle. Bobcats are able to turn it. Lori Beth Boy trying to get a foot on it. Zimmerman from the Nighthawks working her way around Lusher. Takes a shot. And Vivi Shoot is able to pick it up. 17 minutes and counting down. Bobcats down 3-0 to country Cincinnati Country Day. Grandview sends it long. Nighthawks beat them there. So Macy, too, now trying to move it up the mid midfield. She's got two defenders on her. Can't get past the third. 
And the Nighthawks will send it long. Shoot picks it up. Shoot sends it long. Again, the Nighthawks are able to pick it up. Looking to make an attack. 16.09 and counting down. On the far side, again, Nighthawks take the shot on goal, and that one goes wide right. So it goes off at the back goal line. It'll be a goal kick for the Bobcats. And on that whistle coming in is that play stoppage is Lexi Smith giving Lori Beth Boy a break. Lucy James from the far side taking the goal kick for the Bobcats. Fifteen twenty-three and counting down. Lucy James puts it back into play. Picked up first by the, the Nighthawks. They move up the far sideline just above the box. Zoe Nelson put, applies some pressure. Lusher comes up, gets a foot on it, sends it up. Two has it, sends it to the far side. Long break, sends it long. Ellie Smith in a foot race to get there. She's there. No help, though. Ball gets stripped away from Smith. Her pocket is picked. And the Nighthawks, again, trying to move it upfield to get it into midfield, send it back, reset. Nighthawks taking their time up 3-0 over your Bobcats with 14.45 left here in the second half. They send it up midfield. Lucy James is there to get it. She sends it long. And that one's going to be picked up again by the Nighthawks. Nighthawks, very aggressive team, showing tonight why they are the number one team. And they're just on, on the far side and outside the wing looking to attack. Lucy James comes up, applying pressure. Take the shot on, send it in the middle, looking for a shot on goal. Lusher there to force him outside. And that one is kicked out by the Bobcats. Long break. And it'll be a throw in for the, for the um, Nighthawks as we have Nat Smith and Grace Bushimi coming back in the game, giving Long Break and Ellie Smith a break. So Nighthawks with the throw in. Get it in, picked up on the, in the wing, near side wing. Zimmerman kicks it out, and that one goes out, is deflected off of a Bobcat. Nighthawks again get it in. Bobcats tap it out. 12, 13, 22, and counting down. And the Nighthawks are offsides. So Bobcats are Ill illegal throw. Executive producer Brad Bertani here giving us the right signals, Correct, correcting the calls. And the Nighthawks, again, able to push it upfield, getting pressure from two and Nat Smith. They got it in the middle field just above the arc. Take the shot on goal, and that one goes in. So with that, the Nighthawks go up. 4 nothing over your Bobcats with a goal at the 1231 mark. Grace Bushimi in place to put it back into play for the Bobcats. Nat Smith sends it upfield. Macy, too, picks it up. Back to Smith. Sends it up over the heads of the, the Nighthawks. Grandview now controlling it. Try to get it to the sideline. No one there. And that one's going out off of the Nighthawks. Lusher with a quick throw in. Looking for Nat Smith. 
Nat Smith in the wing off the f near side. And that one's going out the back goal line, and that's going to be a corner kick for the Bobcats. All right, Grace Bushimi to do the honors with the corner kick. Bobcats getting set up. All right, Bushimi looking for a spot. Bobcats set up in the box. Into the box, into the middle. Picked up, though, by the Nighthawks. And that's going to roll out. So it'll be a throw in. Long break. Throwing in for the er, throwing in for the Bobcats. Gets it in. Looking for Nat Smith. Picked up, though, by Lex Smith. And the Nighthawks, again, take control. Macy, too, though, comes up to apply some pressure. As does Swisher on the far side. Zoe Nelson in a foot race. Nice crossover by the Nighthawks. Lucy James comes up to stop that advancement. Goes out the far side. It'll be a throw in just outside the off, off the wing, off the far side box. So we're at 1041 and counting down. Bobcats down, 4 nothing here from Beaver Creek in the regional semifinal round. Bobcats, number nine in the state, playing number one, Country Day, Country Day, Cincinnati Country Day. Not to be confused with Cincinnati Summit Country Day, as someone may have pulled the stats for them and not the stats for Country Day today. As we watch the Nighthawks, pretty good, keeping pretty good control, keeping it down on our side of the field. That one's kicked out. Going to go out off the Bobcats. It'll be a throw in for the Nighthawks in the Grandview third of the field. Coming into the game now, Lori Beth Boy, Kara Hill, and Chloe Garris giving long break, Califf, and Swisher a break. All right, Nighthawks, get it in. Battling for possession. Lucy James over to stop the um, advancing into the box, though it goes out the back goal line. So it'll be a corner kick from the near side corner here for the Nighthawks. Everyone set. Kick is in. And Macy, too. Picks that one up, sends it back out. It'll be a throw in now for the Nighthawks. Nighthawks get it in. Lusher pressuring, steals it, sends it up, finds Nat Smith. Grandview tries to get up past mid center field. No one home. They send it back. Nighthawks do. Zoe Nelson comes up to challenge. Now the Nighthawks have it. They're advancing just outside the wing on the far side. Crossover into the box. And Lucy James is there again to stop it. Goes out the back goal line. So it'll be a corner kick from the far side. And we are at 8-14 and counting down. 4 nothing. Bobcats down to the Nighthawks of Cincinnati Country Day. And the clock stopped for some reason. Lucy James with uh, being tended to by the trainers. Looks like she may have gotten a bloody nose. So coming into... Uh, Place Lucy is Keelan Swisher. All right. Clock is stopped here. 757. Corner kick for the Nighthawks. Nighthawks put it in a place, send it into the box. And Macy, too, able to get ahead on it, send it back out. 
and that one's going to go out the back goal line, and that goes out off of the Bobcats. So we'll reverse field here, and the Nighthawks will get a corner kick from the near side this time. Nighthawks put it into play, put it in the middle. Both teams swarm the ball. Nighthawks take a shot, and that one goes high above the crossbar. So it'll be a goal kick for the Bobcats. Macy two with the honors. Coming now back in or coming into the game is Elise Granger for Keelan Swisher. As Lucy James is still being tended to here on the sideline. Two puts it into play, sends it long. Looking for Bashimi on the near sideline, and that one rolls out off the Bobcats. So 6.45. Bobcats down 4 nothing to Nighthawks from Cincinnati Country Day. As Macy 2 comes up, gets it, sends it up to Natalie Smith. Natalie Smith crosses it into the box. Bashimi tries to get there. Nighthawks kick it out, though. So it'll be a throw in for the night or for the Bobcats. Bobcats quickly get it in into Lexi Smith. Well, Lexi Smith trying to work around her way around two defenders, sends it back to Garris Bo or Nighthawks kick it out. Granger throws it in, finds Garris. Nighthawks put a foot on it, send it out. So Bobcats trying to find some position, get in, get a, get a score on the board. That one goes out, and that is a throw in from the deep inside the territory of the Nighthawks. Bobcats and Nighthawks fighting for ooh, a little shove there out of bounds. No whistle, no card. Nat Smith again gets it back into play, and that one's going to roll out the back goal line off the Bobcats. So it'll be a goal kick for the Nighthawks. As we have 528 and counting down, Bobcats down 4 nothing here in the second half of the regional semifinals from Beaver Creek, Ohio, against the Nighthawks of Cincinnati Country Day. Country Day puts it back into play. Bobcats fighting for possession. Cincinnati Country Day able to Gain control. Up comes Granger. Gets it over to Nat Smith. Nat Smith tries to sneak it over to the middle of the field to Macy 2. Macy 2 gets her way around two defenders. Trying to get past the third. Now the fourth. And Cincinnati Day is able to strip it away. They move it into the middle of the field. Send it long here to the near side. Cincinnati Day only has one person to get around, Lusher, but Lusher's able to kick that one out. So, 426 and counting down. Bobcats down 4 0. Cincinnati Day, Cincinnati Country Day in full control now. Grandview has spent a large majority of this time on defense. The ball has stayed down in our territory, I'd say two thirds, if not more, as we watch Nat Smith send it out. And we're under four minutes. Four minutes, 3.53 and counting down. Barring a major miracle, the girls' run may looks like it may be stopping here at the regional semifinals in Beaver Creek. And I've enjoyed so much calling these games, watching both the boys and girls soccer advance, and, and calling these games has been a sheer delight on my part. Hope all the fans have enjoyed it. And a big call out to these girls. This is a young team. We're only using a few seniors, a couple, a handful of seniors, if that. And coming into the game now is back in is Lucy James, uh, Maggie Yates, and Lily Fisher. Outcoming Garris, Bushimi, and oh, Lily Fisher is coming out. So I think they were only sending in two. So Yates and Lucy James back into the game. Lucy playing midfield now. 
as they've moved more players up. And Country Day now moving moving back, trying to get it across the mid-center line. Yates comes up to pressure. Lucy James over, pressuring. Grandview turns the field. Picked up by Nat Smith. Nat Smith now battling for possession. Gets it over to Lucy James. Lucy James into the middle to Macy 2. 2 gets it up. Finds Kara Hill on the far side. Kara Hill takes a shot. That one's going to go wide right and out the back goal line. So we're quickly approaching right now the two-minute mark. Bobcats down 4 nothing. Goal kick for the Nighthawks. Nighthawks put it back into play. Grandview there to pick it up. Nat Smith battling for possession. Goes out the back goal line. And they're calling for a corner kick for Grandview. So Natalie Smith looking to put it back into play. Table's set. She gets it up. Ball's live. Lusher with the header. Goes out. So, big call out to Vivian Shute, Ellie Smith, Natalie Smith, and Zoe Nelson. Those are the four seniors. This will be their last game for Grandview. And I want to thank them for four years of great soccer as we are under a minute and our girls not giving up. So, again, uh, big, a big, big, big applause for these girls. They played tough all season. They were district champs this year, beating a higher ranked Worthington Christian, who was number seven in the state when we beat them on, uh, Saturday. So a great, uh, that's our second district championship in a row for the girls. So again, a young team only losing four seniors, three of those starters. Um, as we have less than five seconds down and that'll be it. Our trip in the tournament will end here as country day wins four, nothing over the Bobcats. So this is John Ione with the Grandview sports network live on YouTube, thanking all of our fans, thanking the administration, the athletic department, and more, most of all these student athletes, both the girls and boys teams and the football team. I've enjoyed um, calling those all season. We'll see you next year here on YouTube. And this is John Ione signing off for the season on the Bob Bobcat Sports Network live on YouTube.